Hello, everyone. Welcome to Industry Theory and Practice. My name is Mariana Fantich. My nickname is Mira. You can call me Professor Fantich or Dr. Fantich. Let me just briefly introduce myself. I came from Serbia to the United States in 2014. Um, I worked in Serbia as a journalist for 12 years and I received multiple awards before I decided to change my career and uh, move to academia. So in 2014, I came to the United States to get a PhD and I obtained a PhD three years later from the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. Then uh, the same year, I got a job at Pace University where I started teaching. I also do research in digital journalism and digital media in general. So I've been at Pace for five years now and I thought, more than 10 courses so far, including industry theory and practice that now I will discuss in more detail with you. So just let me share my screen with you and talk about this class. Industry theory and practice. What are course objectives? We are going to study concepts and issues that relate to communication in the workplace. Also, we're going to study the process of social interaction in the online environment. One of the things that I will ask you to do is create and maintain an e-portfolio. So that is an electronic portfolio that will ensure you are showcasing your work both at pace and if you have an internship or a job and you would like to include your work and show show it to everyone else, you, you will have the opportunity to do this through this e-portfolio that you will create during the course. Another goal, another objective is to practice PowerPoint as a means of enhancing presentation. Aside from PowerPoint presentations, Google Slides are also allowed. What are learning outcomes? Effectively communicate in an online environment, understand communication theories related to the workplace, evaluate online sources, demonstrate critical thinking and writing skills, successfully complete an e-portfolio, improve social media presence, prepare for job interviews, and create and deliver PowerPoint presentations and or Google Slides. How is this course going to be delivered? As you know, we are running this course asynchronously, which means that um, lectures are pre-recorded and they are already available to you on my YouTube channel and in classes. These video lectures are important because they, they don't just provide crucial points from the textbook and other sources that I use when I'm creating video lectures. They also incorporate exercises that you need to complete each week. So in order to complete an exercise, you will need to watch my video lecture. These exercises are incorporated also in my PowerPoint presentations, but these PowerPoint presentations will be available to you once you complete assigned exercises for the week. So you actually need to watch my video lecture, complete the exercises that you have for that particular week. And then um, after you complete your exercise, my PowerPoint will be available to you in case you want to go over it again, um, find some information that you need. Zoom sessions will be scheduled if needed. So I'm not expecting us to have any Zoom sessions us except for the Zoom session that we are going to have uh, during week one, as I want to see you and clarify any potential concerns that you might have re related to this course. And if I feel that during the semester we need to meet again, um, then I will schedule a Zoom session. Or if you need me to schedule a Zoom session, you can always email me and propose that. Required materials, so I want you to get this textbook. It's, it is really interesting. It has great examples of communication in the workplace. So I really want you to have it for the course. And another resource that you need to use is classes learning system. Classes. 
uh, I will go through classes later in this video and explain when you where uh, to find all the material for the course, where to post exercises, assignments, etc. Et all the material for this course will be posted in classes. And when you go to classes, you will click on table of content under content with the detailed agenda for every week of the semester. All assignments, along with instructions and grade rubrics, are already posted in classes and they're under assignments. So you can even today look at um, assignments and you will find instructions and grade rubrics and everything else you need for your final project. For instance, but also for other assignments. Exercises are explained in my video lectures. Once completed, they need to be posted in a discussion. And if you have any questions, you can always post them in the discussion section under questions. But if you have more of a private question, you can always email me and ask me a question. These are assignments that I have for you this semester. So there's current events assignment. Um, I have an example of this assignment and I also have detailed instructions posted in classes. So you can take a look at that. E-portfolio assignment, as I mentioned, this assignment means you collecting the material you have produced and then you want to showcase it in your e-portfolio. So you will use an online portfolio to uh, showcase your work. Midterm project, culture in the workplace, I'll, I'll discuss this more in detail later. Final project and class participation, so you can see this uh, point distribution. So make sure to complete all assignments on time and I'm sure you will be fine in this course. Additional information about me. So as I mentioned, I can always schedule a Zoom session, but remember, that if you need to talk to me about any assignment or um, any, if you have any concerns, you can, aside from sending me an email, you can also meet with me during my class office hours. Um, I will be in my office in, at CHO to, uh, 223. I haven't been there in such a long time. So I, 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 I kind of uh, find it hard to remember what the number of my office is. Wednesdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., but I can also meet you via Zoom on Tuesdays from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Of course, if this time doesn't work for you, you can just send me an email and let me know about your availability, and I will try to meet you um, by appointment, so that is, that is um, acceptable, too. All assignments. And exercises need to be submitted in time. Late submission will result in a 20 point grade reduction for that particular assignment. So please try to submit everything on time. Uh, one thing to remember is that my video lectures run from 30 to 90 minutes. And I would suggest taking a break every 30 minutes for a long lecture. So if, if my lecture lasts about 90 minutes, just break them into like 30 minutes, take a break, uh, and then watch another 30 minutes, et cetera. Uh, another thing that I would also like to mention is you will hear in my lectures me saying blackboard, blackboard, but that actually means classes. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm telling you this is because when I record in my lectures, we still use blackboard for this course and other courses, but now we switch to classes. So just disregard that information and use that of posting in Blackboard discussion board, you will be posting in classes discussion board. This is my email address. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. I'm really looking forward to teaching this course, to learning from you and seeing your progress. Now, um, aside from the PowerPoint that I prepared for you today, another thing that I would like to go through is the syllabus for this course. So the syllabus is already posted in classes. I will show you where to find it. So in the syllabus, you will find more information 
about the course, such as you will find detailed course, course description, learning objectives and learning outcomes. But what is the most important about the course is that you will find a description, like a brief description of each assignment. So current events assignment, and then culture in the workplace. So for current event, you will basically um, find an interesting event that relates to one of the concepts that we discussed in class. And then you will explain that current events assignment and you will also need to provide feedback to your peers on their current events assignment. More detailed description of this assignment is already in classes. Culture in the workplace, students will research the workplace practices of a culture of their choice. They will then present the topic virtually using PowerPoint and a video app. E-portfolio is something that I want you to start working on as soon as possible. You will be required to set up and maintain an e-portfolio using Google Sites as, again, um, other details regarding this assignments are already in classes. And I also provided an example of my ePortfolio. So you can take a look at it and see um, how your ePortfolio should look like. You don't need to copy me completely. Of course, you will have different projects, but I just want to show you like how an ePortfolio looks like. Finally, your final project is online networking projects. So what is it that you will need to do? You will need to increase your online professional presence. And even though this is your final project, it is something that you will need to start working on from the very beginning of the semester because you need to launch and maintain your accounts on at least two social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Pinterest. And you are also required to um, reflect and incorporate into this um, online network assignment to work on ePortfolio. So I can discuss this assignment in more detail during the semester, but I want you to actually, as you get acquainted with the course, I want you to go to classes, look, look at the assignments, go and download instructions for your final project, because it is really important to start working on the final project from the beginning of the semester. Class participation basically means you watching my video lectures, uh, looking at exercises that I have incorporated in my video lectures and completing them. So to complete these exercises, you will go to discussion board and post answers to my questions there. This is, um, you can look at my email policy and other things uh, related to the course, like penalty, online work, plagiarism, et cetera, et cetera. But aside from that, I also want you to take a look at course schedule. So this will really help you learn about um, the topic that we're going to cover. And it will also help you learn about deadlines for your assignments. So what are the exercises that we have to do? When is your um, assignment due? So as you can see, current events assignment is already due um, during week two. So what you want to do is to go to assignments, download instructions for current events, and make sure you complete this assignment in time. Sometimes um, some deadlines are on Friday, sometimes some deadlines are on Monday. So uh, when you uh, just make sure to uh, look, consult both the syllabus and consult both classes to see uh, what are your deadlines for each assignment or exercise? I'm covering this briefly, but of course, I wanted you to, I wanted you to learn a little bit about the course. And uh, of course, like during our Zoom meeting, we will discuss these things in more detail. So just make sure to watch my video and prepare any questions that you have for me. Finally, I'm going to close the syllabus and I will walk you briefly through this course. 
So everything is already available to, to you online. And why don't you start by going to content? So if you go to content, the first thing that you will see is start here. So I would suggest you to start from here and you will see my description on what you need to do for start. So one of the things is the first thing that you need to do is actually watch this video. And then after you watch the video, you also want to look at the syllabus. The syllabus is on the left hand side C here. So you want to um, take a look at the syllabus and also you will join a Zoom meeting with me on Monday, September 13th at 5.30 p.m. It will be a brief meeting where I will just discuss uh, any potential concerns you have. And of course, one of the things that I want you to do is get acquainted with the class, classes platform, technical requirements for the course. So just scroll down and you will see all these links that I posted. I would just suggest you to take a look at them. Um, and you know, if there is anything that I need to further clarify during our first meeting, I'll be happy to do that. So just make sure to cover this section, this part before we meet. And then um, how is it going to look like? You see the um, under table of contents. Um, I named this modules week one, week two, week three, week four, so you can kind of follow simultaneously that and the syllabus, and you will know exactly uh, what we are covering each week. So when you go to, let's say, week one, you will see that you need to join the Zoom meeting at 5.30, so I haven't posted the link to that Zoom meeting, but in the meantime, I will post the link. So don't worry about it. Uh, so what you need to do is just click on week one and you will find the Zoom, Zoom link for our meeting. And, and then um, you also need to download this PowerPoint presentation. If we go to week two, so after we are done with Zoom meeting and after you watch my video lecture on what my expectations of you for this course are, what you need to do is simply go to week two and I have a detailed agenda for you. So only, the only thing you, can do, you need to do is follow this step. So read text for chapter, for chapter one, watch the video lecture communicating at work posted below, submit current events assignment by, and you will see the, um, when, when is your due date for the assignment, post current events assignment feedback, um, complete the identity management exercise, the, and then the PowerPoint will be available to you after you complete this exercise. So if you scroll down, so you, can, you see the agenda is here, step by step, what you need to do. And if you scroll down, you'll find the links for everything mentioned in the agenda, except for um, read textbook chapter one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera, because it's uh, it's a physical textbook that you will need to get. So that will not be um, listed here among these links, but everything else you will find in that specific order. So watch video lecture, submit current events assignment, post feedback, et cetera, et cetera. So here it is. This is the link to my video lecture. This is the link to your first assignment. This is the link to your exercise. You just need to scroll down and you'll find everything. Let's go to week three and see how it looks like. Same thing, read textbook chapter, watch video lecture, complete the following exercises. And then if you scroll down, just go one step at a time and complete one thing, the next thing, next thing. And you see, you'll find everything to me listed here. Now, this is your content and I would suggest to you when every week that you just you can just go and see what is due and start working uh, and start working on it. Just try to cover, you need to actually cover each step listed here. What are other important folders that you need to be aware of? So let's say 
If you go to syllabus, you will find the syllabus for this course. You can download it. Another thing, if you go to activities and click on assignments, it will take you to assignments. This is where you will be submitting your assignments. So let's say current events assignments is actually current events assignments is the only assignment that you will not submit here. Current events is the only assignment that you will actually need to submit in the discussion board. What is the reason for this? Well, basically you need to submit it there because students will be posting feedback to your assignment. So for them to see your assignment, it has to be posted in discussion. So that's why this assignment is different from all other assignments. So when it comes to all other assignments, you will be posting them in, um, you will be posting them here. I'll, um, if you, let's say, if you look at midterm project culture in the workplace, um, you, and if you go to that assignment and you will find files such as assignment instruction and grade rubric, so just make sure to download these files, like go through them, make sure you understand every assignment. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always email me, but I would suggest you to go over these assignments and especially your final project because you want to start working on your final project at the beginning of the semester, not at the end. Other activities include, um, under activities, you also have this discussion list. So if you go there, you will find uh, all these exercises. So they're not explained again here, they're explained in my video lecture. So you need to watch my video lecture in video lectures in order to complete all these assignments. But this is where you will be posting assignments and this is where you will be reacting to current events assignments posted by your peers. And achievement. So you can go to, I, I have no grades at this moment, but if you want to see your grades, this is where you will go. And I'm pretty much um, effective with respect to grading. I usually grade assignments like the moment you post them. So you will be able to see your grades quickly after you posted your discussion, exercise, or an assignment, so you will be able to see your grades quickly after that. And that is all that I have for you for today. Again, you really need to go to classes and learn about this platform if you're not already familiar with it. So just make sure to start here, make sure to watch my video lecture, and make sure to read the syllabus and because you will find more details about the course in there. Of course, we will have a Zoom meeting and I, I'm sure that you will have additional questions for me. So I will make sure to address them during your meeting. This is, I believe, um, a really interesting class with contemporary topics that we're going to cover and I'm sure it will help you especially in improving your online presence and preparing for work in a diverse work environment. So in, in the meantime, if you have any questions, you can email me. My email address again is mpantic at base.edu. So good luck with this semester and I will see you soon. Bye.